Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome back to another awesome edition of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we'll be discussing From Gamer to Leader, harnessing your gaming experience for leadership in the video game industry. Picture this, the clock's ticking, your hands are sweating, your heart's pounding, but you're exhilarated. You're one step away from the ultimate boss, your nemesis for the past several levels. You strategized, rallied your team, rebounded from multiple failures, and now, victory is within reach. Sounds like a typical intense gaming night, right? But what if I told you these adrenaline-filled moments are more than just good fun? What if these experiences, honed in the vibrant pixels and polygons of the gaming universe, could serve as the foundation of your leadership skills in the very industry that created these games? As a gamer, you've been unknowingly preparing for leadership in the game development industry. You've learned strategic thinking, teamwork, resilience, and empathy. Now it's time to transfer these skills from your virtual battlegrounds to the real-world challenges of the video game industry. Strategic thinking. Recall the countless times you've had to plan your moves in a game. The strategic decisions made in RPGs like Final Fantasy or tactical shooters like Valorant are the stuff of legends. Each decision, each action you took, was an exercise in strategic thinking. Little did you know you were already playing the role of a leader, carefully charting your course of action, allocating your resources, and making critical decisions that would determine your in-game success or failure. In the gaming industry, this skill is indispensable. From managing budgets to scheduling project timelines, every task requires strategic planning. You'll have to make complex decisions, sometimes with incomplete information. Just as in a game of chess, every move you make will impact the rest of the project. Your opponents might be tight deadlines, technology constraints, or budgetary limitations. But with a strategic thinking honed by years of gaming, you'll be prepared to tackle them all. Consider developing a new game, for instance. It's not unlike planning a quest in an RPG. You need to define the goal, the game's vision, understand your resources, the team's skills and project budget, anticipate challenges, technical issues, market trends, and plan the best course of action for each of the objectives. In this process, you might encounter unforeseen hurdles. A key team member might leave, or new competitors may emerge. But with your strategic thinking, you could plan contingencies, much like preparing backup strategies for an unpredictable game boss. The power of teamwork. Gamers know it well. Teamwork can be the difference between victory and defeat. In team-based games like Overwatch or League of Legends, your success hinges on the effectiveness of your team. You quickly learn that each team member, with their unique set of skills, is crucial for victory. You learn to coordinate to make the most of your team's combined strength and to cover for each other's weaknesses. In the gaming industry, teamwork is just as important, if not more so. A game development project is a massive endeavor. It includes a diverse team of programmers, artists, designers, marketers, and more, each with a unique set of skills and perspectives. Your role as a leader is to foster collaboration among these desperate talents, much like coordinating an Overwatch team to take on an opponent. Creating a cohesive team requires understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each team member, delegating tasks effectively, and fostering open communication. As a leader, you must create an environment where everyone feels valued and heard. This, combined with a clear common goal, can drive your team towards success. For instance, a programmer might come up with a creative solution for a design problem, or a designer might suggest a more efficient coding practice. By encouraging cross-functional collaboration, you can create a more effective and innovative team. Building resilience. 
How many times have you faced the game over screen, only to respawn and try again? These moments of perseverance, this grit that kept you going, are manifestations of resilience. You see, every time you fell into a pit in Super Mario, every time you were ambushed in Call of Duty, you were not only learning the game mechanics, you were building resilience. In the world of game development, challenges are plenty. From bug-fixing marathons to unexpected project cancellations, you will face multiple hurdles. As a leader, your resilience will guide your team through these tough times. You'll set an example for your team, showing them that failure is not the end, but just another step in the journey towards success. Imagine this scenario. You're leading the development of a new game, but suddenly a competitor releases a game with a very similar concept. The morale of your team plummets. Here's where your resilience shines through. You gather your team, acknowledge the challenge, and brainstorm ways to distinguish your game to turn this setback into an opportunity. Your team rallies, motivated by your unwavering determination, and in the end, you release a game that not only stands apart from your competitor, but is also better received by the audience. Empathy, understanding players and team members. Gaming is not just about quick reflexes and strategic prowess. It's also about empathy. In narrative-driven games like The Last of Us or Life is Strange, you step into the shoes of characters, understand their struggles, and make decisions from their perspective. This ability to understand and share the feelings of others is empathy, and it's a vital leadership skill in the gaming industry. Firstly, empathy helps you understand your players better. By stepping into their shoes, you can create games that resonate with their experiences and preferences, fostering a deeper connection between the player and the game. Secondly, and equally important, empathy is essential in managing your team. Understanding the challenges your team members face, appreciating their efforts, and providing support in difficult times can significantly improve team morale and productivity. For instance, a team member might be underperforming due to personal issues. An empathetic leader doesn't just see the dip in performance, they understand the human behind the work. Offering support and flexible solutions that not only help the individual, but also prevent a potential drop in overall team morale. Final thoughts. The journey from a game to a leader in the video game industry might not be as far as you think. The countless hours spent battling bosses, coordinating team attacks, and understanding complex game narratives have unknowingly prepared you for leadership in the game industry. The strategic thinking honed by planning epic game quests, the teamwork fostered in multiplayer arenas, the resilience built from every game over screen, and the empathy developed from understanding diverse game characters, these are the same skills that will make you an effective leader in the gaming industry. So, the next time you pick up your controller for a gaming session, remember, you're not just a gamer, you're a leader in the making. It's time to level up from being a player in the game to a player in the industry that brings these games to life. All right, and that's this week's episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thanks for listening, and as always, thanks for being awesome. Oh, hi there. The episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. If you're on the quest to elevate your team's leadership, production, or game design capabilities, I'm here to assist. Leveraging extensive experience and a strategic approach, I offer personalized audits, bespoke workshops, and leadership retreat facilitation to drive your team toward excellence. My commitment is to provide efficient, reliable, and proven support, ensuring you have the tools and insights needed to thrive. Ready to unlock your team's full potential and achieve unparalleled success? Don't hesitate to press start on your journey to transformation today. Feel free to reach out directly to discuss how we can tailor a solution to meet your unique needs and goals. Let's connect and take your team's performance to the next level.